Hello there everyone and welcome back to Shogun 2 Fall of the Samurai with the total Fall of the Samurai mod Scramble of the Far East. Last time around we declared war on China which led to war with Korea. As we marched forward we were able to take this first Korean town in the north um, and uh, then we're moving to deal with the main threat which are these Chinese armies. We've got one entirely made up of mounted Manchu bowmen and then the other one which is a mix of spearmen and matchlock infantry. Uh, we also have some bow infantry thrown in there. My, my spy or my assassin have been set up here to trail them but as they, he was about to do that there's an assassin and when is, do you ask? Was he recruited? Well, when was recruited very very recently because he's out of points and he's just started there. Um, he's also called there when. Um, we're gonna try and assassinate him because I don't oh I don't have enough money for that. That's gonna be bad because he's probably gonna try to assassinate us. The worst thing would be if he actually managed to assassinate my generals. Um, there's not much I can do. Let's go ahead and end turn and see what the enemy comes up with. Our assassin was detected and we have some unrest over here. Reason being is I have enabled tax. We go ahead and unenable that. I believe soon we should be able to just set up tax. Uh, I do very much need it. I made a little bit extra because I'm now raiding the trade over here. However, we're not making a lot from it. We're actually making... Let's see if I can get it up here. Actually, I just... Oh, I didn't actually set it up, so we raided it. I just r moved over there. So we're only getting 32 from raiding that. Uh, the Chinese have yet to change course, so they're still marching over here. Their uh, assassin uh, has disappeared, so I'm not too sure where he's gone. I might go ahead and just scout for this first army. Make sure that they don't... And I think he will provide protection for the general here so that he won't be as easily assassinated. Um, there's not much I can do. The Chinese armies are continuing the march towards my province. Hopefully they'll do that because then I can avoid them. But I might it might very well be that they are going to turn back and fight me. Let's go ahead and turn and see what uh, what happens. As we move closer to the capital, it seems that the Chinese have gotten a, a change of heart and is marching their troops to defend their capital. I've yet to find out where they're hiding their spy, but um, I might put my assassin to good use by assassinating some of the generals. I would like to intercept this horse army before he gets to the castle, although I imagine that once inside, they won't actually do much good. One thing that I had have a problem though is just a layout of um, uh, the castles. The uh, Japanese castles does favor the, fen the defender such a tremendous amount compared to castles in other games. Other Total War games. Hopefully, can I actually get tax from you yet? Nope. God damn it. Um, we're gonna end turn, see if they actually move inside the castle. I'm hoping they meet us in the field of battle instead. That would be much better. One thing that I do notice though is the zone in which... I'm hoping this zone is actually bigger. Because it kind of seems strange in the way... Sort of the... Um, I think it's way too small the zone that like affects that they would come to aid. I think that should be made bigger just with kind of... maybe it's just a preference but I think it, it would work a lot better if it was bigger. 
Um, just because the mod otherwise is kind of slow, it's big open distances, you can easily... Like, I mean, at this point, this is so small, you basically have to stand on top of each other to gain support. But I'm not entirely sure if that is the zone. And uh, that's a r random thought there anyways. Uh, let's go ahead and then turn and see if they're gonna go into the castle. If they do, I might just go ahead and march out and meet this one in the open so I can destroy that one. And then we can siege out the horsemen and uh, starve them out. I think that sounds like a good... Uh, because I'm kind of worried the other castle was... Um, you know, on flat ground, that was kind of okay to attack. But a lot of the Shogun castles are up in mountains and stuff. And this is kind of a mountainous region. I don't know. Maybe I'm too cautious. Maybe I should just charge in. But uh, there's a lot of more Chinese troops here in the area than there are Russian. Let's go ahead and then turn and figure out what the enemy does. And so that we can counter it. Enemy assassin attack. Detected. Wen is back. Should go ahead and get him. I also thought of another thing. I, I'm currently raiding this trade, and all we get is that, like, 33 coins. When that doesn't give us anything. I think instead what I should do is I should bring the ship down, and we should try and figure out if we can find... Uh, some Japanese factions to trade with. I think that's a bigger boon um, to our economy than um, getting 33 coins from raiding some stupid Chinese fishermen. Uh, first on uh, the agenda is to assassinate Wen. Enemy! Ah, he was assassinated! And that means that my assassin gains in rank, retrainer. A Poison Tanto or Opium Pipe. Increased campaign map line sight. Escape following unsuccessful. I think this, we're gonna make him into a really great assassin. Um, and I do believe this is towards the, assa yeah, the assassin line. So we'll put one in Criminal Agent. So you can now set up spy networks, army sabotage, building sabotage, and assassination. So he's pretty good, jury. We're gonna then, rather than go for the castle, we're gonna head out into the open. So we're gonna bypass the castle. Kind of mad, maybe, to set up in between. But that's what we're gonna do. Hopefully, the police station over here. Oh, no, I can I actually uh, exempt them from tax. Hopefully, the, oh, we can get the police station finished here. So I can send this army out and they can come to our aid. Um, so now I'm in between the Chinese armies. A pretty bad position. But I'm hoping the AI just stays in the castle. Um, so that this army stays in there. And then we can meet this one. Preferably, I'll actually meet this one in the field. I don't think they're, um, these raiders will do much if I'm able to set up squares, put down stakes in the ground and so forth, and then spray them with canister. With that, let's go ahead and end turn and figure out if we'll actually come to battle with the Chinese in this episode, or if we're just going to play uh, a... Uh, match of uh, maneuvering back and forth. A mission was failed. Apparently I had a mission to eliminate an enemy in battle just one turn before uh, we... Um, just one turn before we actually come to blow with the Chinese army. Also, I was able to get all the... Um, all my... what's it called? Uh, troops into the different uh, cities and so on, so I'm able to increase tax. Uh, although this province still becomes unhappy. Soon though the police station will change that around. But we'll have to exempt tax. So we made more tax, but then we'll 
we lost some. Um, I don't know. I don't have... It's kind of expensive to go ahead and assassinate and stuff. We'd rather save that money. You'll be held here. Um, what I'm going to do is we're going to march as close as I can before we move into the area there. And then we'll attack. Wait, I attacked with the wrong army. God damn it, I attacked with the wrong army. This is the army that I should attack with. Why did I make that mistake? It's just because I thought this guy had a fancier hat, so he's supposed to be the faction leader in the big army. But no. Blasted mistake. The Chinese have 3,000, almost 4,000 men against my uh, roughly, what? I've. 1,800? So they have almost twice the troop size. And now I'm attacking with a smaller general first, which is stupid. Means that I don't really get the good... Well, that means that will these guys get at the end of the map. Come in off the end of the map and I can set up there instead. Hopefully it's a good position. Anyways. This is a very uh, important battle. And without further ado, let's go ahead and fight it. And there the battle is off. We've got the Cossacks right here. Reinforcement is about to march in. The Chinese army is beyond this hill. Today, sir, we attack. And there's quite a lot of them. And I don't know about us attacking. We're gonna rush... ...onto this field. It's a big, open, nice field. We're gonna protect ourselves by putting down stakes in the ground and uh, prepare to kill these guys. We kind of have an anchoring here where they cannot flank us, so that'll be great. Thing is, I'm pretty sure bullets will catch on to the stakes. So we don't want to place too much. What I'm going to do is I think we'll draw... Draw the line like this. And I'll have my marines march out in front to go ahead and place the stakes. And let's see if we can get the cannon somewhere in the middle of the line here. Let's get them as far out as possible. Like beyond, oh, we got some enemy cavalry. Let's move our cavalry into uh, close proximity here. They are coming really fast here. Let's set up. Set up quickly. Let's try not to shoot our own men. We'll tell some of these forces to hold fire. Okay, the Chinese Lancers got murdered. Great. So... Right. Let's get my cavalry into order. Let's move the cannons into place. Oh, they're coming back, are they? Hold fire for now. I think the Marines can handle it if necessary. What we actually should do is make, put the cannon over there, and then these two units should be on a slight angle there. Let's see the range. So this is kind of the extreme range of our muskets. Let's get the general quickly over here. Cannon. Are you uh, soon enough? He'll be in. Uh, they'll be ready. Cannons ready. Let's go ahead and deploy it. Place down stakes. Place down stakes. You can see the Chinese army coming at us. I mean, they could possibly send someone up here, but I doubt it. I think they'll just. 
kind of amass their troops coming down into this valley and we'll be able to shoot them crush them we'll start by blasting the enemy oh you know what my cannon has bugged out my cannon has bugged out I'm gonna have to fire the shots on my own highest elevation fire Boom! Good shot. Would have been nicer though if all four cannons would have fired. I'm questioning either I'm gonna put the marines on the flank or I'm gonna put them behind as reserves. I'm actually thinking I should put them as reserves. Fire at will and fire by rank. Hopefully the cannon can unscrew itself. If I tell you to fire at the ground. Okay. The easiest way to do this then is to um, fire canister. Of course I hit the only tree right there. Fire canister once they get close. But this is going to be a little bit more difficult then. Let's get the Cossacks ready. You can sit in the forest behind there. Main commander over here. You guys are on not fired well. Let's keep an eye on those Chinese. Okay, they're advancing here. Let's fire another shot. Boom! Another good hit. But imagine if we'd had all four cannons constantly going at this would have worked a lot better I think though against the enemy's matchlocks uh, will do a lot better given the uh, our weapons technology it's a lot of them though I don't like the look of that cavalry riding around Fire. Their general has fallen. Oh, the general fell? Oh, he rode into the spikes. Whenever you're ready, fire by rank. Maybe it would have been better to have everyone fire immediately. Because now the Lancer unit actually reached the line, broke to, through, and actually killed about 20 of my soldiers. But that's good, they came head on. Okay, quickly now, back into position. Are we within canister range? I believe we are. Keep up the fire, lads. I think we'll better off getting this going right away. So we get those uh, volleys rolling down upon the enemy. So they're not able to return fire. And right now they're just marching into our fire. The general is dead. Should make it easier for us. Um, maybe I should have had the Cossacks actually move to the center and attack from there. Let's see. Another canister towards the center. I don't know, maybe a round shot is actually better here. Uh, it's two units of matchlock. Let's see if we can get the Cossacks into a flanking position. And blow them away. Oh, they're getting really Sir, close. Oh, now they're firing attack. back at us. Is that a sword unit coming at us? I think it might very well be. Fire! I think I fired a bit too low. I'm gonna inspire that one. Oh, they're firing arrows at the back. And they're hitting the general, which I don't like. The enemy was beaten over here. 
But right now they're uh, dropping volleys on us over here, which I don't like. I'm sending the cavalry. To attack them. At the same time, the enemy is being broken down over here. Same a little bit higher this time around. Get the volleys through. It looks fine. Cavalry has struck the enemy over here. I don't know if it goes is going too well for my uh, Cossacks. Combat is even. I was hoping to break them. Let's pull back. Looks like the Chinese main attack has been stopped. Oh, I forgot to switch to canister, apparently. This time around. Now, some of the units actually reached us. So we've got a little bit of a melee fight ensuing. Well, they're charging over here, but they were broken just in time. Only the flag! Just to be cut down by the officer. But it's not over just yet. There's more waves coming in. They're uh, putting heavy pressure on uh, my left side. Let's get the marines over here. Quickly. Quickly. Gonna have to pull back here. As quickly as possible, gentlemen. We've got an enemy unit coming in here. Of course, I did not switch to canister, did I? Now I did. Took out quite a few. Now we have the marines to back up the line infantry. Go with rank fire or fire kneel, first rank kneel. Just so we get as much firepower down upon the enemy as possible. Inspire and rally. And all enemies are now broken. I need to put down as much fire on the enemy as possible as they are retreating. Their general has fallen! And shoot down everyone. Get the cavalry in. Ride the enemy down. I think it's more important to ride these guys down. But here we go. Like the first proper battle. And we uh, brought down the Chinese. Now I can safely go ahead and conduct the siege of their Manchuria capital. Although a lot of these Chinese troops are probably going to survive. So we're going to have to fight another battle against these guys. But we definitely cut down a big swath of uh, troops there. Here's the result of the battle. It's a heroic victory as we only suffered 215 casualties compared to the enemy which lost almost 3,000 out of their 3,700 leaving only 775 men left. Both generals, enemy generals, died in the battle. We gained experience for the Cossacks, riding down tons of troops afterwards, and then three infantry units also gaining um, chevrons. Highest kills goes to an infantry unit, losing only a single soldier while inflicting 481. And then it's Cossack, and then it's two infantry, and so on. Uh, what, we, what is Jury doing? Oh, he's dancing. He's looking for birds. I'm not entirely sure. 
Right, very nice. Oh, and we even got a statue there, the Battle of Atomachuria. Well, with the enemy more or less defeated there, we can move back and we can lay the siege of the enemy castle. If they sally forth, then, well, their own cavalry should be easily slaughtered by us. Um, my sword for you, my lord. Might want to head and try to burn the castle gates. Let's actually try it now. Oh, it failed. It didn't cost me a thousand. I don't think it cost me a full thousand. It cost me a half to fail. But that's uh, it for this episode. So, hopefully for the next one, we'll take out the Chinese. We'll be able to uh, then refocus on the Koreans. Get rid of them all the way down here. Hopefully at that point I will be able to be able to stabilize and actually build a bit more and we can get some new actual proper troops for the army hopefully I'll be able to build a cannon range somewhere as I kind of realize I'm gonna need some bigger guns to take on the bigger castles but with that said I say as I always say hopefully you guys enjoyed it and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one bye Sir, your general is under attack! <laughs>